Hi everyone, this is the presentation of summer of HPC project 2213, heat transport in over nuclear fuel. This is Mattia. And this is Luigi. We were working with IT4I Supercomputer Center in Ostrava with supervisor Dominic Legut. In particular, we did a calculation with Barbara, a cluster that consists of 200 compute nodes, totaling more than 7,000 compute cores. We are based in L'Aquila, a little city in the middle of Italy. You can see us in the photo on the left, in front of the Basilica di Collemaggio. The main issue of our project is to understand the properties of thorium and uranium carbide that are potential candidates as a nuclear fuel for the fourth generation nuclear reactors. The first step to go deep in this problem is to understand what is a solid. To do so, I studied palladium and Luigi studied molybdenum. You may not know that the microscopic world is ordered. On the right, there are some simple examples of periodic crystal structures. But imagine to solve exactly a structure composed by billions and billions of ions and electrons. Very difficult task. Better ask a computer. A possible approach to this problem is density functional theory. DFT is a self-consistent algorithm that allows us to determine important features of our crystal, starting from an initial electronic density. Some examples of these properties are the total energy of the system, the equilibrium distance of the ions, the mechanical stability, and so on. Since we are at a macroscopic scale, we have to deal with quantum mechanics. In particular, we have to solve a Schrodinger-like equation that gives us all the quantized energy for the electrons. The fact that a solid has a microscopic order led physicists to label all the electronic energy with a new quantum number related with the periodicity of the system. The dependence of the energy on this quantum number is called band structure. An interesting fact is that some lines in both graphs intercept around zero energy. This tells us that molybdenum and palladium are metals. This means that there are available states for the electrons that can easily move in the crystal. This feature can be checked with the so-called density of states. Once solved the electronic properties, one can ask, how the ions move? As for the electrons, there are available energies also for the lattice vibration, for a physicist, phonons. These energies correspond to particular vibration modes that we can see in the animation for the well-known cooking salt, sodium chloride. Depending on the displacement of the atoms, these modes can be detected with Raman or infrared experiments. For the rock salts, all the modes are infrared active. In general, with these techniques, we can check the crystal structure. Now, let's look at the potential candidates as nuclear fuel for the four generation nuclear reactors, uranium and thorium sesquicarbides. You can now look at the complicated structure. There are 40 atoms in the most simple cube that you can cut from the entire crystal. And so, we need a supercomputer to perform all the calculations. The first step is to determine the equilibrium distance, and then we can move on to the electronic properties. The electronic bands, as before, are shown for these compounds. Due to the very big charge of uranium and thorium nuclei, it can be possible that some electrons move very fast and therefore relativistic effects are not negligible. In the plots, the black lines and the red lines are the band respectively without and with the relativistic correction. As you can see, for uranium we cannot neglect this effect, since the bands differ a lot. To better understand the nature of the energies, we calculated the so-called projected density of states that describe the character of the state at a given energy. In other words, we want to know what kind of electron, if it is from uranium, thorium or carbon, if it is localized or not, and so on, determines the main properties of these compounds. It can be seen also from these plots that relativistic corrections on uranium are not negligible. In a nutshell, we did a preliminary study on simple structures, phase center cubic palladium and body center cubic molybdenum, with good agreement with literature result. Then we focus on pho phonon properties of sodium chloride with particular interest in non-analytic correction in anthroporal compounds. Finally, we study the electronic properties of the potential novel nuclear fuels. Further investigation could conserve phonon and so thermal properties. Thanks for your attention from Mattia and Luigi.